Hey, this is Gavin Palmer, and I've been using GPT-4. So last night I put out this post called The Dawn of Artificial General Intelligence, A New Era Begins. Um, I've been really pushing this as of last Monday when I suddenly became aware that this thing, that I am no longer special and this thing can do what I thought it would not be able to do. And I finally have kind of the words to explain why. And that's because I learned that it could use tools and it could learn to use tools. You could feed it documentation about a tool it's never encountered and it could learn to use those tools. It can do error correction. So that's why I am declaring that it is artificial general intelligence. I'm where there are no other creatures on the planet that can do this, that can learn to use a new tool. And this thing can learn to use a tool very quickly. Um, so it is quite impressive for a number of reasons, but that specifically is uh, the reason. And as of yesterday, I started using GPT-4 to do my blog posts. Um, and so this is the one I released yesterday. And I can go through and show you how I did that. Um, but this morning, I... I generated five blog posts um, and what I'm doing is I'm taking some of my old ideas and uh, prompting GPT-4 to create blog posts um, about my old ideas and it's usually pretty good some of them I hesitate so I has it with the dawn of artificial general intelligence I hesitated this regulation so anytime the word regulation comes up I get quite nervous I mean, I think regulation needs to happen, um, but I don't like a top-down regulation. I like a subsidiarity, and I probably need to create a blog post clearing up just regulation in general and how to do it. You can see a theme uh, that I believe that regulation requires recording and transparency and cooperation You know, in receiving a feedback, this kind of thing, such that there can be error correction. Um, I do not like that top-down structure uh, it is no good. And so um, I got a little, out of all these posts, I got a little nervous when I was, at the Cultivating a Transparent Future blog post is about using, you know, legalizing plants and fungi. And the first blog post mentioned the importance of regulation. And so I recreated the blog post with an emphasis on um, using recording devices and cooperating with the community in order to accomplish the goals of growing these plants and fungi in responsible ways for the benefit of humans. Uh, so, and that blog post turned out much better uh, when I developed a newer prompt. Um, one of these is called Bridging the Gap. And this was, um, this, this idea was not an old idea that I had. This idea <coughs> is tightly coupled with Michael Sartori. And so this entire blog post was generated from a prompt, um, some ideas that I've been sharing with Michael and I linked to at the bottom, like this stuff down at the bottom was not created by GPT-4, it was created by me. Um, but if I go to my tweets, there is a, yeah, bridging the gap. And so this tweet itself was generated. So I'll show you, I went to uh, chat GPT and tried to create, I used the GPT-4 model and hit my prompt, you know, I prompted it to create a blog post about the importance of education in the trades. Many people in the trades are getting old and have a lot to teach. We propose a system of mentorship in which the apprentice has been trained to use video and audio recording devices to help create training material for the world while learning from the best in the trade. The response to this prompt should not exceed 42 lines and should be broken up into multiple responses, which I will aggregate together. That's my attempt at avoiding some network error because I'm asking for more tokens um, or it's taking too much time. Let's see. So it ended up generating the blog post and I then created the blog post very quickly. You know, I read it and agreed with it and created the blog post. And then um, I said, create a Twitter post for this blog post link. 
And then it, I had to edit this because I didn't have enough characters. So I, I used that as like a template for generating this uh, blog post. So this video I'm going to share in response to, you know, Michael. I, I uh, mentioned Temple Grandin and Michael Sartori. And uh, I will share this video in a response because Michael asked, asked how did ChatGPT help? And so that's what I want to do is make sure that people are aware. I want good people to be using these tools to become 10x and 100x uh, productivity. Um, so uh, learning how to, like I am not a good communicator. So, you know, my disclaimer used to be, you know, being neurodivergent, I sometimes fail to communicate my thoughts clearly. And so I've been leaning on uh, GPT-4, which has caused me to groom myself better because GPT-4 understands that the audience will trust me better if I'm looking at the camera, which I wasn't doing until now. And, um, and if I look well-groomed and if I'm wearing a, a certain set of colors and have a certain background, and um, and this all happens subconsciously and so in a way the technology can know people better than people know themselves and i believe it i'm seeing some results and I, you know i'm creating blog posts and creating titles and descriptions i could even create an outline for a video uh, and this kind of stuff will get better over time i think the key is that we love people we try to produce good fruit uh, in order to love people and help people. And we can use this technology to help us. So that's an example of how I did this. I, um, I did this for each of my blog posts today. And basically, I just feed it um, my prompt. And if I don't agree with it, I can try to get it to adjust the, the content. So for example... Um, legalize growing all plants. So at first, you know, I prompted it to write a blog post which encourages the legalization of growing any plant or fungus. It is wrong to lock a person in a cage for growing a plant. It is wrong to separate a person from their family for growing a plant. Adults should be able to study these plants and fungus in order to help improve our medical knowledge. These people who grow and practice medicine with plants should be able to learn and teach and heal with these plants without fear. So the the post was pretty good it was um a little bit accusatory and it emphasized on its own the need for regulations so it had this responsible regulations part and i do agree with regulations but i want it to be top down and kind of crowdsourced with transparency and this is the way government should work and we can learn to govern ourselves uh, and hopefully allow the government to allow us to govern ourselves like those big large governments that try to govern everything and everyone we uh, we need to prove our ability to develop systems of organization at local levels which are trustworthy and so that's why i didn't like this blog post i didn't use it i said rewrite the blog post with an emphasis on using video and audio recording technology in order to encourage transparency responsibility and error correction emphasis on a way for people to join clubs and cooperate in the effort to cultivate together in responsible ways. Because, you know, if I have a super dangerous plant, I will need help. And I learned this is why my LLC is Hero Looking for Group, because one person by themselves cannot do as much as one person plus GPT-4, or one person in a family, or one person in a group of people, a community. And so when you um, are growing plants and fungus that are potentially dangerous and lethal, it would be a good idea to do it in a responsible way within a community and, and so that people do not feel threatened. I mean, that was the prompt for how I dress myself, is how can I present myself in such a way that people will trust me and feel less threatened by me? Like, I have a sense of how much I can be trusted and, and, um, and how threatening I am to people. And it's not perfect, but it's getting better. Um, I've, I've made mistakes and I've learned along the way. 
And then, you know, my wife has an idea and my children have an idea. But you, the audience on the internet, you have no idea. And so I can do these things which <laughs> are essentially like um, sorcery, which play with our, our programming that's within us and within the population. So that's all I wanted to show. Uh, I can show you, I think, one more blog post I can create is just more emphasis on transparency and error correction in everything we do. We can try to cultivate a humility in which we understand that everything we do can be done better. And potentially we could use GPT-4 to help us do better to accomplish our goals. Thank Jordan Peterson with the, um, with the, the self-authoring program, except now you have GPT-4 is helping which is another idea, right? I could create a blog post. I could mention Jordan Peterson to enhance the self-authoring program. So anything that is good and producing good fruit could be coupled with this GPT-4 or future large language model technologies, this artificial intelligence, which I think is now uh, an artificial general intelligence that's just being contained and restricted to some degree. And that's not a bad idea. And so all these ideas have been coming to me for years and I finally have some help uh, with GPT-4. And one of the things is, is version control. And so you can see what I did. So I did the dawn of AGI written by GPT-4. And so I started using GPT-4 for my blog post as of yesterday. And then I did Torch Transparency, then AI Rising, a story about clean water and AI. I did Sparking Innovation. That's about the proper way to do competitions to foster innovation and have fair judging and receiving of feedback within that on a platform uh, used by uh, those who want to do the competition fairly. Uh, I have Bridging the Gap, which is about the trade schools, and then Responsible Plant and Fungi Growth, which you know is about medicine. So um, I, I hope this is an example of how you might take your goals where you're aiming properly. That's what I pray is that you're aiming properly and use this teacher uh, that, to help you accomplish your goals and become more productive and to produce more good fruit for the world. So right now I'm just doing the ideation innovation stuff and these things, I'm not trying to own anything. That's another thing about our, we have an arrogance about us where we can think that that's my idea and we can, and I've felt it. And so one of these things is I'm just receiving ideas and then using tools and people who might have skill, strengths and weaknesses and skills to try and you know, work on projects and bring these tools into creation for the benefit as, of as many people as possible. And I would encourage everyone to do that. I don't think I suspect there are people who should do it better than me. So uh, we've, it feels like a race, people. Like we have been handed something very powerful and it is a race to try and <laughs> bring about the good change uh, because we already know that people who want money and power uh, work very hard to gain money and power. And so they will be using this technology. And so we also need good people trying to produce good fruit to try and use this technology as well. So good luck, get at them, have a good day.